But I can't really get the whole thing right now. But yeah, y'all, I haven't been asleep. I'm probably about to go drink something and then, I don't know, wait until it's time for me to leave. Because I'm leaving at like 3, so I can get there at like 3.30. And then my flight is at like 5. So, getting there like 2 hours early. I know it's going to be dead though, because it's going to be 5 o'clock in the morning. Well, 4 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, whatever. So, I'm ready to get there. I, I was able to pick my seat. So, I chose a window seat. So, when I get in there, I'm going to be showing y'all, like, my views from up top or whatever. I love window seats when I'm on a plane. Like, I love being able to look out the window because either way, I'm going to look out the window. And either I'm gonna be on the end, or I'm gonna be in the middle, or on the other end. But I'm gonna still be looking for the light, so you might as well just put me on the end. And I hate people that be like, I want their thing down. Like, no. I wanna ride next to them, I wanna have, I wanna have things up, I wanna be able to see them with them. But yeah, so I just had to shake in real quick. I had to fix my polish, my toe, because it messed up, which was irritating. I purposely waited like right before and it still ended up messing up. So yeah, I will talk to y'all. So I'm at the airport, got my stuff right here, and I just got through TSA. They did not take my tripod, um, they did not take nothing, so that's great. Uh, I actually saw some people from my Nate that was right behind me in line, which is so crazy. So, yeah, I'm about to walk through, go to my gate, and then, yeah, I'll probably show y'all 
a little bit while I'm walking around. I was gonna put them on the camera, but I didn't wanna be weird because like I just learned their names. So if they wanna get on while I'm on a flight or anything like that, I'll show them, show y'all them. But yeah, I'm tired. This book bag is heavy, I overpacked. I can't breathe. I just had to do all of that by myself. Okay, so this is currently me in the airport. I almost lost my ticket. Avoid touching your face with Alright, guys, I gotta keep going straight. Ooh, there go the security man. Yeah, I just almost tripped it for a little bit more of Everybody looking at me like I'm crazy. But guess what? I might as well get used to it. I don't care.
Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, we'll be starting our descent down into Atlanta a little bit. Do expect a couple bumps on the way down. See sign is on. Right now in Atlanta, light easterly winds. Good visibility, a little bit of light rain falling, overcast skies. Temperature 75 degrees. Better blizzard having you aboard at this time. Like that's the flight test, please prepare the cap for arrival. Like I'm pretty sure I said earlier. And I'm kind of stressed out. I'm not gonna lie to y'all because I don't wanna be walking through this airport. I just wanna sit down huh? and take my book bag off and possibly eat something. But that's not how it's going. I don't even have service because I was supposed to call um Sorry, yeah, this freaking bag is heavy on this carpet. I don't know why they got carpet. Oh, well, I could have been on the escalator front. I'm mad. Anyway, what was I saying? I'm definitely about to ride this part on the next. On the next part, I'm about to chill. Look, look, look. Here you go. But anyways, I don't even have service right now, so I can't call nobody. Like, I pray that God is with me right now, because obviously nobody else is. Like, nobody answered my calls. I'm trying to get somebody to call the place for me, because I don't have service, so it won't let me call it. But, yeah. Hopefully, I'm not here from 7 to 4. I don't want to stay at the airport. I really just want to call the hotel, see if I can do early check-in instead of four o'clock. And then hopefully I can, and I can leave this airport because I'm sleepy. I really want to take a nap.
Okay, so let me give y'all a little update. I'm currently sitting down at some chairs. Um, and I sat down because... Where did I sit down? Oh, so after... Oh, last time I talked to y'all, I was stressing out about me not having service. Nobody answering my calls. So it really wasn't even nobody was answering my calls. It was just the fact that I didn't have service and it wasn't going through to nobody. So, um, now, I mean, so I was trying to get in contact with the hotel right before my phone lost service. But when it came back on, I was able to call them and ask them if they had early check-in. And they told me that the earliest I could check in, because originally it said four. So it said the earliest I could check in was 12. It's still only eight right now. So I don't know. It's some food places over there. I see IHOP, Burger King. Popeyes, I think, over there. So I don't know. I might go get me some, try to get me some food. But I know it's not gonna last like four hours. Like I just don't know. And then the Atlanta dude is trying to look at me like. <laughs> I'm a whole joke. But seriously, they better stop playing me. But yeah, I'm about to walk around here with my mother freaking hood on. I don't want to be bothered. I need to grab my shades so people really can't see me. So I'm finally, finally, finally at the hotel. Y'all don't even know all of the struggles that I just went through. It is currently 11.56 and what else? It's, it's 11.56. I just got to the hotel not that long ago, for real. Um, where do I start, man? Just so much dumb stuff happened while I was at the freaking airport. Because like I told y'all, my check-in was at 4 o'clock. was supposed to be at 4 o'clock. So, when I got off my flight, I'm like, what am I going to do? So... I went and sat down at the food court for a minute and then I tried to call the people, call here, the hotel, to see if I could do an early check-in. So I call them and like right when I'm about to call them, my phone talking about no connection, like no service, like no bars, like I can't do nothing. I can't talk to nobody and I'm in the freaking airport by myself looking crazy and lost so lost 
and dumb because I had all of this heavy stuff, this heavy book bag, this heavy freaking luggage, and this heavy purse. And I had some food. I got some Popeyes. I wasn't even able to sit down and eat it because for some reason, Atlanta ain't got no, ain't got enough seats. Like y'all don't got benches outside. Y'all don't got places to sit inside. Like I was sit, I was sitting down for a minute. They had like these like three or four chairs like right next to each other. And that was like the only seating spot that I had seen like for a long time. And then they had like the food court area, but the food court area was full. Like it was literally people sitting at like every table. It was packed. And it was even people sitting like on little ledges of like different parts or whatever. Like y'all need more um seating areas. Like what type of airport is this? Y'all know people gonna be carrying bags, people gonna be tired. Why would y'all not have that? So that blew me. Because I got up to get my Popeyes and I tried to come back. <laughs> it's like three people sitting right there. Like, stop, stop, stop. Didn't even get to eat my Popeyes because, well, I ate some of it. But didn't even get to eat it hot because I didn't have nowhere to sit. So I was just like, whatever, I'ma just get my lift or whatever and I'ma leave because i was tired of being in the airport anyways i was in the airport i got there my flight landed at seven o'clock in the morning i just got here and it's about to be 12 and i just got here like i was at that place for too long i left out my house at three o'clock in the morning like that's too long that's just doing too much but what happened after that so i ordered my freaking lift and then i'm walking through the airport or whatever i go out the doors and i'm waiting on them and i tell him like i'm by delta or whatever so he like he like okay he was like a a foreign man so he didn't speak english that well so i was like you know like just confused on some stuff that he was saying like i didn't even know exactly what he was talking about but then he's like, okay, I'm gonna come by Delta. So I'm like, all right, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm looking at the app, his car not moving, but the little timer thing going down where they talking about they gonna leave. But he already said that he was on his way to me. So like what? So then he like, um, I gotta come to this certain part or whatever for lifts or else he gonna get a ticket. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm like, I'm coming, but it might take a minute. Y'all, I'm in an airport with a bag of Popeyes, a sweet tea, my luggage, this heavy book bag on my back, my purse on top of my luggage, and stuff in my pocket that had been falling out as I'm walking. Because everything kept falling. I'm sitting there looking crazy. My my um luggage kept falling over and i had my laptop in it like i'm just hoping it don't crack because i don't got no case on it or nothing y'all stressed and depressed and aggressed ain't even the word so so i'm like okay it's gonna take i'm like it's gonna take a minute so he's like okay that's fine remember he said that so i go back in because i was tired of the airport i was blue i'm like i'm leaving i'm going out so I really didn't want to go back in. So I go back in the airport. After I go back in the airport, I asked this man that worked there. I'm like, do you know how to get to like where the Lyft and Ubers and stuff like that be at? Like, so he tells me, go straight down this, this little part he had showed me. He said, go straight down there. And then at the end, go out of them doors and you'll be there. I asked him again. He said the same thing. I said, okay. All right. Now, remind y'all, I had all of this stuff in my hand, so I'm not trying to take multiple trips. Plus, on top of everything, I'm sleepy because I haven't slept. I didn't even go to sleep last night. I stayed up until it was time for me to go. So, I probably haven't slept in probably like 24 hours or something like that. Tired ain't even the word. Like, sleepy, exhausted. Like, I was sitting down 
at the airport like my eyes was like wandering off like i'm dozing off drifting off falling asleep and bears i just keep looking around like i hope ain't nobody watching me right now because if i was somebody if i was watching me right now i would be laughing <sighs> But anyway, so um, I finally, so I go out them doors, y'all. I go the exact same way the man told me. Go out the doors. Why would I get out the doors? I'm looking, I'm like, I asked the, another man that was out there that worked there. I'm like, is this where the lifts and stuff be at? He like, no, nah, you gonna have to go back inside, go to the fifth something. I forgot what he called it. And then he like, and then you gonna have to go downstairs. So why would this boy head man that I just asked tell me that all I had to do was walk down this hall and go out these doors? Then he talking about some. What's wrong? You you tired? Yes, I'm tired. I'm sleepy tired. I'm tired of this BS. I'm tired of this book bag that's hurting my neck and back <laughs> like i'm tired of not being able to eat my food or sit down i'm definitely tired of that like so i'm like yes i'm tired like what do you mean am i tired yes like y'all keep giving me the run around i'm going back and forth back and forth so i finally make it i, I finally make it struggle a struggle a true struggle i finally make it downstairs and where i'm supposed to be at waiting for the man or whatever he said he was at um zone one so i go to zone one i don't see him so i text him like i go to text him and he had sent me a message that said something like um i don't know he said he basically was saying like um just cancel it because i'm wasting his time I'm wasting your time. First, the, you know what? I can't cuss um, too much on YouTube. But first of all, and I hope y'all feel me on this one. And I hope y'all feel the cuss words that I'm not able to say. But first of all, how is you going to sit here and try to tell me that I'm wasting your time? I've been at this airport for hours, if anybody's time is getting wasted it's mine and i'm paying you to take me from point a the airport to point b my hotel so how you gonna sit here and try to tell me i'm wasting your time and then on top of that when he told me that i had to meet him at the different one i told him it was going to take some time and he told me okay this did not take more than 10 minutes, y'all. It did not take more than 10 minutes. So, if I told you it was going to take some time, and you're talking about some, all right, why now you're talking about it's wasting your time? Like, stop playing with me. Don't ever, don't ever play with me like that. Like, don't disrespect me, Jose. Yeah. I was just blue. It was just too much. It was just too much going on. Like, back to back to back. And on top of everything, y'all, I got, I brought this. I brought my big tripod, big boy tripod. And I brought my smaller tripod, my little handheld one. And guess what? I don't even think I brought the piece that go to it that holds the phone. Like, when I tell y'all... This has been nothing but struggle after struggle after struggle. And I get to the hotel and a lady's talking about, oh, it's going to be a 150 deposit. Ma'am. 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 Nowhere on your website, when I booked my hotel, did it say I had to put out 150 deposit? Because this room, that's like how much this room was for like a night. So why would I have to pay basically for two nights? 
when I'm only staying for one. Yeah, I get my deposit back, but she's talking about some I get it back in like five plus days. But it took you five seconds to take it off. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. And that's just the struggles that I've been going through, y'all. I'm cranky. I ain't ate. I mean, I ain't slept. See, I'm all discombobulated. I ain't slept in hours. Hours, y'all. I'm so tired. As soon as I tried to go to sleep on the plane, we was landing. As soon as I tried to go to sleep on the plane, we was landing. I was so depressed. I'm like, dang. Because I was so sleepy at that point. Like, I was so ready to go to sleep by that point. Because we landed at like 7 o'clock in the morning. I left my house, like I said, at 3 o'clock in the morning. y'all i'm just tired i'm just tired of being tired i'm just like but i'm tired of the bull miss me with it like i don't want to hear it i don't want to just going on somewhere with all that just don't even come to me about nothing i don't i don't want to like i have a deep like I'm not going to say hatred, but I'm going to say dislike. I have a deep, like, dislike for a lot of people, honestly. Like, people in general just be so stupid and dumb and ignorant. Like, what is wrong with you? I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't even want to come over and bring all this negative energy, but I just had to tell y'all about... How my freaking trip, how my freaking time at the Atlanta airport was because they really need to get it together. From the bald head man that told me the wrong directions to the rural Lyft drive driver, Jose. To the other people that didn't help me when I was struggling. But I didn't want their help. I'm not gonna lie. They would have offered, I would have said no. Oh, and then Y'all, the list just it just go on and on. The list really do go on and on though. Like, what else? Um this lady, I don't know if she was like homeless or what, but it was like right after I had got my papa's and I just dropped a whole bunch of stuff and I was struggling and like a lot of people was looking at me like, you know. But she came up to me. She looked kind of homeless or like something like that. But she came up to me and she she asked me how about her a meal. And I'm just like, no. Like, I'm sorry. I can't buy you a meal. I can't. Like, I don't. First of all, you see me struggling. You see me dropping everything. You see me trying to hold everything in my two hands and on my back. You think I'm about to walk with you to a restaurant, a different restaurant, wait in line with you, have you order your food, and then I pay for it? Who do you think I am, your sugar daddy? Like, no, and I didn't even have no cash to be like, oh, you know, here go some money to go, whatever. But because after that, she had asked me for like a dollar, but I don't have I literally don't have no cash on me right now. Like, and that just kind of blew me, too, because I was on the phone with my sister and she like, did she just ask you? For? I'm like, yes, like, girl, first of all, I'm struggling, trying to pick this stuff up, trying to get my life together. And you just don't care. You just like, oh, can you, can you buy me some food? Girl, you older than me. You probably older than my mama. Like, go and find you a way to buy you some food. You managed to find a way all the way to the airport to be able to ask people for money or for food. 
you could go fill out an app or whatever. Like, I'm 20 years old. What do I look like supplying a grown person's life? Like, I'm not out here begging people to give me food. And you shouldn't be begging me to give you no food. I'm not the Salvation Army. Y'all, I'm sorry. I've just been stressed. And I was hungry at this time. I was hungry. I was sleepy. Like, I was literally running on E this this whole time. And I wanted to drink some of my energy, honestly. But I didn't. And I probably should have. Because that probably would have helped me. But I didn't because I didn't eat nothing. I really wanted to eat first. And then when I ate that Popeye... Well, I didn't even get to eat the Popeye's. Like... I waited until I got all the way back here to be able to eat my Popeyes. It was cold. It's no microwave here. And they gave me hot tea. Maybe a little bit of ice at the top, but it's hot, y'all. It's still warm. Like, do, do it just say disrespect me on my forehead today? Because Atlanta is tripping. What? I'm about to take a flight back home. I don't I don't gotta take this. I don't gotta take this. The goodness. The audacity. Anyway. Anyway, child, so But yeah, so that's just been my struggles just all of my struggles i've just been struggling but i'm about to show y'all this room i'm not gonna be in this room for long i'm literally okay so i wanted to show y'all my room so this is the front door and then right here looking good this was my airport fit. Yes, sir. Ski. Like this. Another mirror right here. Really cute. Really cute. Look, you little like mirror, like light on it. Which is real cute. Then a little sink. And I got this little area too. Like that little painting, real cute, real cute. It's a refrigerator under here, but it's not a microwave. So that's convenient. Um, where's the light in here? There we go. Yeah, this is the bathroom. It's actually a pretty nice size bathroom. Um. Then it's that little thing. And this cute little couch here. Sorry, y'all, my stuff all over the place. But that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Cute little chair, desk, TV. Yep, yep. But that's because I was looking for stuff and I had to unload, like literally, carrying all of this stuff. What? <sighs> make it make sense. Make it make sense. But yeah. I got the cute little couch with the ottoman and the little lamp and little painting, windows, and then the bed. Boom, boom. Off of me right there. Yes, sir. But yeah, and that's it to my little room that I got for a day. Um, I'll show y'all the Airbnb when I get there tomorrow. And then the hotel that I'm staying in on the last couple of days. Y'all. Like, look at, look at me. Y'all. This is what a good nap look like. Okay? <laughs> I just took a nap. It's currently... Where my phone? Another one. 
Okay. It's currently 3.42. And I just woke up from my nap, y'all. When I say that nap hits on everything it needed to hit for, like, wake up drooling type, like, slobbing, all that. But I am trying to find out what I'm about to do if I'm about to. I don't even know because I got it's some people, some girls in the business, Savannah and Clarissa. Well, I know Savannah just landed like an hour ago because when I woke up I had a text from her probably like an hour ago and Clarissa last thing I heard um Savannah was just waiting on her so when they get here we probably gonna do something because they said they wanted to walk around at least um to see the city so I see what they talking about when they get situated and everything like that I didn't even know that they was coming in today. They was, I think they was originally supposed to come in tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, y'all. My hair. It's been a long day. It's really been a long day. Like, the fact that it's only 3 o'clock is, like, crazy to me. Like crazy i forgot i got here all early and went to sleep it seemed like it was late to me how long it took me but i guess it was still early my freaking hair and this hair kind of shitty y'all This hair kind of shedding, y'all, but it's okay. It's cool, I guess. I got my flowers. I just need to go over my freaking hair and flatten it. Do something to my edges. Probably get dressed. Like, look. I don't know how this happened from just me laying down. Like, it was, it was a good nap, though, so kind of makes sense all right y'all my phone dying so i'm about to put it on the charger because i'm gonna need it charged up um but yeah if i end up getting dressed or going somewhere i'm gonna call y'all i mean like what what am i talking about that's how you can tell i'm still sleeping i'm about to go back to sleep but if we do something, I'm gonna record. I'm gonna talk to y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. I was just texting Ashley, my mentor, and she. What was she telling me? Oh, she was talking about energy because she had watched my story and I was talking about how I was sleepy and how I needed a nap, which I ended up taking. So she's like, yeah, I got a whole bunch of energy or whatever. So excited. And I'm like, me too. Because I literally grabbed like handfuls and put it in my suitcase. So I know I got a lot of energy sticks. Plus, I don't even feel like um, I don't have that much energy right now. Like, I feel pretty cool. Even though I do kind of want to go back to sleep. No lie. Because did I get woke up? Nah. But I had kind of woke up and then I checked my phone. I started I had messages and stuff. So I woke up. And that's how I got up. But I think I'm going to go back to sleep. 